Kamala Harris has recently expanded her lead over Donald Trump in national polling for the U.S. presidential election. According to The Guardian's latest poll tracker, Harris is ahead by 3.6 points, a small but significant increase from the previous week. While these national numbers offer a snapshot of overall voter preferences, the election will ultimately be decided in key battleground states such as Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Both candidates are running neck and neck in these crucial regions, making the outcome highly uncertain. In the U.S. electoral system, winning the popular vote is not enough to secure the presidency. The candidate must win a majority of electoral college votes, which are allocated based on state victories. Historically, Republicans have held a structural advantage in the electoral college. For instance, Donald Trump won in 2016, despite losing the popular vote by 2.7 million. This dynamic has raised concerns among Democrats about a repeat scenario. However, recent analysis suggests that Trump's edge in the Electoral College may be waning. Experts like Nate Cohn from the New York Times argue that the Republican advantage in the electoral system is shrinking, with Harris performing well in key swing states. While Trump is polling better in solidly Democratic states like New York, those gains are unlikely to help him win essential swing states. If Harris can maintain narrow leads in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, she could secure the necessary 270 electoral votes to win the presidency. With just over five weeks remaining until Election Day, the race remains close. National polls suggest that Harris may win the popular vote, but the battle for the White House will hinge on the swing states and how the Electoral College map ultimately shapes up.